Hey guys, in this video I want to show a cool build that I found out with the new Void Fragments after the raid was completed. Definitely an awesome raid by the way, just not probably the best raid launch. Um, but yeah, so the Void Fragments are now available if you just want to go to Ikora in the tower and you can purchase them each for 25,000 Glimmer and you just have to meditate and boom, they will be there as well as your Void Grenades. Now the Devour build, I'm going to show you this video that I feel like is a really cool build and that you guys should test out. Be aware that I do not play Warlock a lot, so don't <laughs> go at me at my Warlock because it's pretty bad. But let's get right into the nitty gritty. Now, one of the fragments, Echo of Starvation, is now available, which basically says picking up an orb of power grants devour, but it minuses 10 recovery. Now, this build, this fragment would synergize well with the Echo of Harvest and the Echo of Undermining. As you can see, the Echo of Harvest is defeating weakened targets with precision final blows will grant an orb of power. And you're going to need that orb of power to get devour, of course. But as well as that if you put on the Echo of Undermining, your Void Grenades weaken the targets. Now this is amazing because if you throw a grenade down at a combatant with them weakening, you can, if you kill them with Precision Final Blows, you can get an Orb of Power from that weakened target. As soon as you get that going, you can get the Devour as you're picking up Orbs of Power that are guaranteed for you if you weaken them with your grenade, which you can use the Echo of Remnants, which increases one of the grenades if you want to use one of the new ones that you just bought from Ikora, or the Vortex Grenade that has increased duration now, that would be a perfect build. As if you're throwing down a Vortex Grenade, if you're a Warlock, and your Lingering Grenades have increased duration, you have more of a chance to weaken the target, which gives them more of a chance for you to get a precision final blow which will get you the orb of power to get devour i feel like this is a cool build and we're going to show some gameplay of it because why not you know i feel like this is a cool build as you keep getting it devour and i also like it how you know any move i do in any scenario that i'm in like with a lot of combatants i can still keep getting it devour it's going to keep you know escalating over time and it's going to go keep going to the limit of how much seconds you can hold devour and i won't ever go down and i feel like that's great because no matter what i do if i get precision final blows of course i'm going to keep getting devour and all that and as well as is that i'm getting orbs of power which will moreover can get me a devour even more and if I use a Void Ability, I will get the gain Devour from that, as that is a Fragment for the Warlocks. And if there's a Yellow Tier Enemy, I just throw a Grenade down, and then that Grenade will have increased duration. And I just have to get a Precision Final Blow to get an Overpower from that to eventually get Devour. It's really cool, to, you know, to keep doing this back and forth, and I feel that it, it will be awesome to use in, like, any activity out there, just to keep getting a Devour like this. And definitely something that you guys maybe should try out in the future hope you guys did enjoy this short video let me know your thoughts and all that and hope the raid went well because i know the raid launched and it wasn't probably the best but i can't even get past caretaker but definitely a uh, cool raid nonetheless mechanic wise but hopefully uh you know it we can get the contest mode to go off and i can actually play it without contest mode and actually you know enjoy all of it but yeah hope you guys did enjoy this video subscribe and like and i'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.